What is up, everybody? It is time, it is time, it is time. We are getting ready to go start this renovation of my neighbor's house right over here. Look, look, y'all see that? Yeah, PPLM, baby. Thanks, Eric, Katie. So I'm going all out here, guys. I'm going over here. I'm gonna hit the D thatcher on it to pick up all the clippings and all and everything from when I did the uh, quinclorac a few weeks ago, just to get all the dead stuff out, get some bare dirt on. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna vacuum everything up. I'm gonna go back over it, round up, life is safe. I'm gonna knock it all out, get it down to bare dirt, wait a couple days, We'll go back over, dethatch again. Probably gonna run the slit cedar or the scarifier over it. Um, clean it all up, and yeah, then we're gonna wait our three days, do our seeding and everything else, and we're gonna make this yard look good. This yard's gonna look better than mine. I mean, she provided me with all the finances to do everything on it. I told her I'd do the job for free just for to gain experience on my own. Um, and just so it makes it look nicer in the neighborhood. But in all in all, her yard this year is going to look better than mine. It is what it is. So let's go get this thing started. All right, guys. So this is the Sun Joe D Thatcher and Scarfire. Right now I've got the D Thatcher uh, attachment on it. Um, this thing right here, I've done my yard with it. It does an excellent job. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, I mean, it just really, it, it, it picks a lot of it up. And I go back over it with the bagger on my lawnmower and pick everything up. And I go dump it over in the field over there. And I mean, I have no complaints. A lot of people have said that it, it doesn't last long, but I've been using it all year. I've used it quite a few times. And I mean, it, it does a really good job and I have not had any problems, issues with it. I might, I don't know, but if I do, I do. We'll see what it does. Uh, it does really good for me. And um, yeah, we're going to go put it on the neighbor's yard now. All right, so to suck all this up, I have chosen to use the Scratchman. All right. This is an awesome mower. Awesome mower. Now, this was my neighbor's 
This was my neighbor's late husband's mower. Um, he unfortunately passed about a year ago and ever since he passed, I've taken over doing her yard for her. I don't charge her anything. I cut her grass. I do all the work for her. I do all the bushes for her. I do all the flowers for her. I keep everything nice and tidy and looking good for her. She's not able to do it. So I've known her all my life. My grandparents have lived in my house that I'm in now. They've lived in there since 1965. So I grew up on that lawn and you know, it's, I bought the house two years ago because my grandmother got too old to take care of it anymore. So I bought it from her and you know, I've known these people all my life. They're like family to me. So I've taken the liberty to help her out as much as I can. Um, so that's why I'm doing this. She just paid for all the materials for everything. And you know, I, I love doing it. So, <laughs> you know, it all works out. But anyway, so she gave me this mower. Um, for doing everything, helping her out with everything. She gave me this mower and it's a really good mower. And I, I hate to say it, but I almost like it better than my Toro. Um, just because of the fact that it's, it's lightweight. It has a really good cut quality, uh, but it's really lightweight. It's only front wheel drive, which uh, I'd rather have rear wheel drive, um, but, it's just a lightweight mower and it's easy to maneuver around and it's just, it's really nice. Um, I do like the personal pace on the, to on the Toro, uh, but this is just a one speed deal. But I just, I love the maneuverability of it and it gets better gas mileage too, honestly. Um, and it's got just as much power. Uh, but anyway, so I chose this to get down and deep because the blades on there are kind of messed up. I need to get new blades for it next year, um, but I want to get down, get deep, get low, and get all this stuff sucked up, and that's what I'm going to use for that, for this job, since the blades are already kind of screwy. So, anyway, here we go. All right guys, so that is it for that. We got this thing looking clean. I mean, it is looking good. Got it all scarred down. She is knocked right on down. She's detached. She's vacuumed up. Got grass showing. Going to go right to the roots. Yeah, she's burning up. About time.
time to do the roundup. Oh yeah. We're gonna burn. We're gonna burn this thing down. Alright. I know a lot of people joke around about the PPE and all that stuff. Well, I don't joke about the PPE. Uh, it's a serious deal, guys. It really is, especially using something like Roundup. You have to have your mask. You have to have long pants, long sleeve shirt, gloves. Should have rubber boots, but I do not play around with, especially Roundup, glyphosate. Um, it's just not safe. I mean, it's okay. It ain't gonna kill you a little bit that I'm gonna use, but you know, I don't play around. I got three kids, I'm gonna be here for a while. So, anyway, we're gonna get all right. We're gonna be good. We're gonna do the mask. I got a good mask for doing lead paint and all, so I get the mask on, go get my long sleeve shirt on, my long pants on, and we're gonna do it. All right. Well, my camera died about two thirds of the way through there. And at that point, my back was hurting from carrying that jug around and pumping and all that. So I just for said forget about it. I didn't feel like changing the battery and all that stuff. So I went ahead and finished up what I had. So are y'all ready to see what I got? Ah, uh, look at that. Man, that grass looks good. What in the world? We, man, we might just leave it like that. We might just have to keep on. Nah, I'm just kidding, y'all. Nah, it looks really good, though. <laughs> that blue dye really makes it stand out. But, uh, yeah, so, look at that. That's the greenest this grass has been, and, or bluish green, or whatever you want to call it in a long time. There it is. I'm thinking Tuesday we're gonna do some, uh, be able to do some aeration, seeding, and fertilizing. So I'm looking forward to that because this is my first big reno, uh, full reno with glyphosate and the whole shebang. So I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to see how this actually turns out. Um, oh, here, let me show you all the seed I got too. So. This is the seed that I got. Like I said, I got it from Brookmead Side Farm in Doswell, Virginia. Recommendation of uh, Eric over there at RVA Lawn Love. Turf grass sod seed. Certified blue tag seed. No weed seed. No other crop seeds. Cannot go wrong with that. Anyways, I will get back with y'all. We will show you some results in a couple days here. But until then, keep dreaming, stay green, peace.